Welcome back to the farm. Today we have a voiture sitting to my left and it's not the Range Rover. What could it be? Well, we ain't got many vehicles, so it's the fix it again tomorrow Fiat Panda. Uh, Tina managed to get it started up. It was abandoned over in the long grass. She managed to get it started up. It was running a bit rough and I've just had a look, I've took the air filter off. Uh, and <laughs> although Tina was pulling the choke on, nothing was happening. Well, no, the choke was on all the time. So when you're pushing the choke off, it wasn't going off, so it was running a bit fast anyway. We've got to look at that, but that's not today's job. I'm going to do a few videos on this, which will be over on Ben's Garage channel, like how to change the uh, cam belt and water pump, all that kind of thing. Um, but today we've got some little odd jobs, like the back door won't close, uh, and just some other bits and pieces. You know, the doors don't shut properly or lock and stuff. Tina wants to start using this rather than the Range Rover. Nice day. Thought we'd get out and make a start on the old Panda. I'm not going to do the cam belt today because it's going to get quite hot out here. Uh, and I look like I'm in the shade, shade a little bit here, but oh, we'll have to do. But uh, yeah, so we're going to have a look at the tailgate and see about these doors and bits and pieces, get all that done. Um, the rear wiper motor seized up, so might as well, might just take the wiper arm off for now. Probably will get a wiper motor, or you can get one on eBay quite cheap. Um, we'll see about getting one of those. It was switched on when Tina picked it up, but um, because somebody's put a wiper blade on it, it's too long. It caught on the on the the window rubber, and it stopped moving. Um, time we got home, the motor was red hot. I burnt my fingers touching it, so that's probably burnt that out. But um, we'll look at that another day, and then we'll say other, we'll be doing the cam belt, water pump. Uh, give the engine a full service and we've got to find out what's wrong with this suspension because it is as hard as nails Tina, if you can remember back a few videos when we first got this she took me around the field in it oh my god I've never been in such a bone shaker in all my life yeah but we'll have a look at that make sure it's safe to drive um, and we'll see how we get on so we'll see you at the back of the car so we're at the back of the car <laughs> there's the wiper so if you can see where it's caught on the bloody top of the thing and not only that there's absolutely no blade left on it whatsoever so for now I'm just gonna pop that cover off and take that out but what we need to do is have a look at this why it's not locking And when I close the boot lid, this piece here has got to go onto there. Now I don't think I can adjust that any, but I might be able to adjust this a little bit, I'm not sure. But can you just see where that is in relation to that? Okay. Well it looks like it's on it. It's right on the it's what? right on that side. It's going into the catch, but it's right on that side. Right. This looks wonky to me. Wonky. Let me undo that first. Mm -hmm. No, I'll leave that. Oh, unless it's in your way. It's not particularly, no, unless you need me to do anything. If you don't need me to do anything, it's fine. What I'm gonna do first is just slacken the catch off that's fixed to the car. Oh, it's the same size as that, so I can close that up without shutting my t-shirt in it. Of course you're wearing the wrong colour t-shirt again. Careful, it's only a tin can, don't tighten it too tight. <laughs> right. If you can just have a look again. Well, it's going over it still. That's shut. Yeah. So 
just try it again. I think we might have cracked this one. Yeah, it's just down to technique now. I might want a bit of lubrication in there. So have I got to slam it a bit? No, if you come out and try, well, you come out, I'll just show you how I did it. Because you know the other thing I was thinking about wanting this for, it'd be much easier to get the compost in and out. <laughs> All I did was push it down like that, yeah. and then just sort of, so you try it. So get it there. Yeah? Yeah. So we'll lubricate, okay. we'll lubricate that. So she can drive down the road and the tailgate won't keep <laughs> flapping about. And it makes a right racket. Because <laughs> that's one of the noises on the back of this car. Obviously there's a, that's the bumper making that noise. But <laughs> there is some clonks and bangs and things on the back of here. Um, have we got the WD-40 please? And a bit of rag. I'm just going to spray up in the lock and try and get that all sort of lubricated. Probably could do with something other than WD-40 because that sort of evaporates off. But for now, we'll just whack a bit of WD-40 in it and uh, I've got some spray grease somewhere and we'll get some spray grease in all the, the door catches and stuff. And we will get this car up and running. It runs? Yeah, I know. Just hold that in the place. Why, well, Jeff? I think we've cracked it. So I'm going to take this wiper blade off now. So the, out of the whole list of jobs we got to do on this panda, that's the first one. <laughs> uh, Tina's getting a little bit excited. I don't know if you can see it. And look, she's doing a little dance. How to get your other half all excited, start fixing her bloody car up. <laughs> but, you know, we've, we've had this for a while now and other jobs have been coming up and bits and pieces. But as I say, we want to use this because we're going to go over and do some, help someone out on their new garden. Um, and I don't want all her tools in the back of my Range Rover. So I'll go over in the Range Rover with the dogs and she can follow along in here and put all the tools in here. <sighs> One screwdriver. Thank you. That must have been what I was dreaming about. Ah. Twat. So Tina went all the way for a screwdriver and we didn't need it. I'll let you off because it's the panda. So that'll just have to stay like that till we get a new motor. Alright. Needs a new wiper motor. So, onwards, next job. So we're on this door, it doesn't quite fit right. But the lines are all okay, all the way around it. But here it's just sitting a bit proud. The top was out, so <laughs> what I've done, I've wound the window down and just bent the door over. And that's fitting quite nice up there now, but it's still sitting a bit proud here. But the one issue that Tina said it's got, you can't lock it with a key. What key is it? Oh, it's a different key. I'm going to have to figure out which one's for the fuel cap. And... I mean, it locks from the inside. As long as it locks from the inside, that's all that matters, really. I can't see you ever getting in it again. I'm not really that fast. So we might be giving this the WD-40 treatment, which oh, is around the back. Yeah, right, while we're doing it, we better make sure this one shuts properly, easily. Also, we ought to see if it's... Uh... Yeah, all right, all right. I think the horn works. Try that 
key in this door. Because of course I've never bothered locking it since we got it home. There's not that key for this door. What key are you trying? It's the key with just one side on it. It doesn't go in this side. I'll go and have a look. So it's looking like none of the locks work with any of the keys. So what I shall do, obviously the, the one key works the ignition. Um, this lock is a different lock style lock to the driver's door. The, the key that goes in this lock won't turn it. The, the key for this one goes in the boot lid, but it won't turn that. And the one for the driver's door doesn't turn it. So what I shall do is um, try and get a, a lock set off eBay with the key, basically, or a set of keys. And um, do you think I got it dirty or something? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's that. So it's the boot lid fixed. We've got this door sort of straightened up. It shuts a bit nicer. It does lock from the inside, but it makes no difference because we can't lock the driver's door. Uh, but I so say I'll get a lock set for that. Uh, so really, next step will be getting under the bonnet and getting under the car and seeing what this clonking is on the suspension. Hopefully that's nothing too serious. Uh, it did pass its CT. Um, last, it must have been last, what's the 9th? September. Mm. Last September it went for its first, not the first, but because it's registered as a commercial vehicle, it's like a van. There's only two seats in it and the back's just empty. But because it's registered as a van commercial vehicle, you have to take it for a CT. The main CT lasts for two years, but you have to take it back every year to have the emissions checked. Um, which shows September comes, we'll, Tina will have to book it into a MOT station, get the emissions checked. But that's all they will check. Um, and they'll give her another ticket to put in the window. And that's it, good as gold. And then next September, it'll go for a CT where they test everything. But um, yeah, so I don't think there'll be anything drastically wrong with it because when did we get it? Before Christmas? No. After? Yeah, it was. No. It was. We'll have a video. I can have a look back and see when it was. It was last year. It had only just been for its CT. So it was after September, just. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> I know the CT over here isn't quite as comprehensive as the UK MOT, where they don't pick up on everything. Well. They don't. They don't seem to care much about corrosion and all that. If it's if it's a Flintstone car, I think they might pull you up. But um, I had a transit van. I could put my arm in the sill, and it didn't fail the CT. Anyway, so we've got a few things to look over. That'll be another video, just sort of a vlog type thing. Just keeping you abreast of the situation. The garage floor, that's all whacked down now. We're just waiting for some little stand things to hold the reinforcing up off the floor. So we can put the membrane down, put the reinforcing and then sort out some uh, concrete. Uh, I'll vlog that when that happens. And we've just been doing bits and pieces around the garden. Uh, that's about it really, isn't it? And so yeah, we're on the panda. Um, I think Tina's a little excited somehow. <laughs> I don't, I mean, like with a cam belt and water pump, I don't know the history of the car. There's no records of history or anything in the car. So we'll put a new cam belt on it. We've got a new alternator belt, water pump. That's all done then. And we know that it's safe for a good few thousand miles. <clears throat> uh, that'll be a little bit interesting because it looks a bit tight down there. It's not, it's not, they're a basic engine. It's just top and bottom. That's all you've got to line up. Um, but it's just getting access when you're stuck in a wheelchair it's not so easy but i've got my master mechanic here tina on the tools Good if hands. if i need her to get her little hands in there <clears throat> so we're gonna we've got a list of parts we've got to get for this now rear wiper motor set of door locks the air box we need to get because that's got like a mechanical flap in there um it's all been taken apart so whether that wasn't working but we want to get it as it should be um it's like a flap when it's when it's cold outside it closes the flap so that it draws air from the exhaust manifold so it's nice hot air going in and once it's warmed up 
it opens up and it it opens the flap up and draws air from the the pipe that goes through to the gr front grill. I'll see if I can get an air box for it and other bits and pieces as we go along. So thanks for watching the video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. For me and the Hobbit. Makes me look tall. <laughs> it's bye for now. What do you mean it makes you look tall? The panda, it makes me look tall compared to your car. That's the trouble when you're a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs>